Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Gyan Sampada where today we are going to continue with our condensed matter physics class. In our previous class we have discussed about chemical vapor deposition technique and today let us study about one type of chemical vapor deposition technique which is MOCVD which means metal organic chemical vapor deposition. So this is another technique to deposit a thin film. And what actually is MOCVD? Why it is used? What are the details about MOCVD is what we are going to study in our today's class. First when you observe the name MOCVD that is metal organic chemical vapor deposition. Already we know what actually is CVD process and when you attach the word metal organic how it is going to change. So we can roughly visualize that in this technique there is a metal involved and organic means there is an involvement of carbon atom. So let's see how it is going to influence this special deposition technique. So first why it is used? It is possible to deposit metallic films even using CVD techniques not just by thermal evaporation method or the sputtering technique. And metallic films are deposited using this MOCVD technique. So MOCVD method is used to produce single or polycrystalline thin films and it is a process for growing crystalline layers to create complex semiconductor multi-layer structures. So this is the main application of MOCVD. Coming to the conditions then MOCVD is relatively low temperature process that is ranging in between 200 degrees Celsius to 800 degrees Celsius especially for epitaxial growth of metals on semiconductor substrate. So we can imagine that substrate will be generally of semiconducting material over which the metal will be deposited and the growth is taking place epitaxially that is layer by layer or atom by atom that is atomistically. And these are the details about general CVD. But what actually this metal organic mean? So metal organics are the compounds where each atom of the element is bound to one or more or one or many number of carbon atoms of the hydrocarbon groups. That's why this technique or this type of CVD is termed as metal organic chemical vapor deposition technique. Then some point to glance over or to remember are about the setup and for the precise control of deposition high purity materials as well as most accurate controls are necessary. So no impurities are allowed and also there will not be any excuse with respect to the conditions under which this deposition technique has to take place and due to this the setup is going to be having high cost and due to the high cost this approach is used only where high quality metal films are required and that's why we can understand this is not generally used method but the main thing is we obtain a very high quality metal film which can be utilized for higher end application purposes and the thickness control is of the range of approximately one atomic layer so we can understand how fine this is going to work out that's why the experimental arrangement or the setup itself is going to be very costly and MOCVD technique is also called as organometallic or metal organic vapor phase epitaxy that is MOVPE the name is given so because when you just understand the process how the thin film is going to deposit we can understand that the metal with the carbon atoms which are involved in CVD process the precursors or the atoms or molecules are in vapor phase the growth is taking place in epitaxial manner that's why MOCVD is also called as MOVPE then coming to the application part so what are the applications of using this type of thin film deposition process? As we have already studied that the thin films which we obtain using this technique are mainly metallic as well as they are giving us very high quality thin films. That's why these are used for compound semiconductor devices then optoelectronic devices where light is converted into electrical energy 
example is solar cell even cell phones and optical communication systems optical storage systems like cvs dvds as well as leds if we are going for higher end application purposes then the thin film whichever is deposited will be done using the mocvd technique itself and that's why they are going to give us very good results and precision is also very good when compared to other thin film deposition techniques so this is the application part coming to the principle of operation so how mocvd is taking place then the principle is same as that of cvd process and it is just the specialization of cvd process based on the precursors which are involved so here again transport of precursor molecules into the reactor chamber by the carrier gases onto a heated substrate will be there and there will be some chemical reactions taking place on the surface of the substrate the nucleation arrangement atomistical growth will take place and finally we get a high quality thin film and one thing to remember is that the precursor molecules here are mainly involving group 3 metal organics and group 5 hydrides or alkyls then coming to carrier gases it may be hydrogen nitrogen whichever will be more suitable then let us understand the working of mocvd using the mocvd reactor diagram so the total setup in simple way is shown here where the main part is the reaction chamber and it is almost similar to that of the cvd process where we are having the substrate substrate holder and this is the inlet and this is the outlet that is from the inlet we are having certain carrier gases then the alkyl source hydride everything is going to assemble and finally get into the reaction chamber where there will be a shower head which will be having different orifices or holes through which atoms or molecules will be showered on to the substrate where the atoms and molecules are going to react or chemical reaction will take place and the transport is facilitated by the carrier gases and after the reaction some of the by products which will be formed will be taken out of the outlet using the vacuum pump and the pressure is measured using this barathron and is controlled using pressure control so this is the rough idea of mocvd reactor diagram and we will discuss in detail with respect to this reaction chamber in our next slide so in the system of mocvd within the reaction chamber or mainly the mocvd system the reagents are injected into the reactor chamber through separate orifices in the water cooled shower head injector to create a very uniform distribution of reagent gases so if we consider this as the reaction chamber this is the shower head where the source is emitting the molecules and it is acting as a injector of target atoms or molecules through the orifices orifices means holes so in the reaction chamber this is the head of the reaction chamber where the atoms or molecules will be showered that's why we can just remember it as a shower head injector and the orifices are going to help to maintain the uniform distribution of reagent gases into the reaction chamber then a homogeneous gas phase is achieved at the distance of 5 mm just below the shower head and the substrates are placed on the top of a rotating susceptor which is resistively heated so in our previous class while we discussed about cvd technique there also we observed that reaction chamber where we are having the substrate it will be heated from downwards so there will be a temperature difference which will help in formation of thin film over the substrate here also the substrates are placed on the rotating susceptor so in the previous slide we observed the substrate holder that is nothing but the susceptor which will be rotating and it is also heated using some filaments that is resistive heating is done coming to the barathron so it is a device known as barathron capacitance manometer which measures the true pressure that is measurement is insensitive to any type of gas being measured whether it is a reactive or any type of inert gas the pressure which will be measured in this barathron is going to remain unaffected so 
as it is measuring the true pressure within the reaction chamber we are using barathrin manometer in MOCVD technique. So based on all these instruments itself we can understand the accuracy what we will get and the quality of thin film is going to be excellent and finally it is going to lead to a high cost of the apparatus which is in one way an advantage and on the other hand it is a disadvantage too. Then a very fine mesh of injection tubes ensure ideal growth conditions and growth thickness uniformity right across the susceptor and because of this fine mesh the uniformity of the layer with respect to thickness then uniformity of alloy composition can be supervised and even the abruptness of the interface the reproducibility of the product and also new processes can be quickly optimized so these are some of the main parameters or the parts of the MOCVD system which make this technique of thin film deposition unique in itself. So again after emission of the target molecules or atoms there are some carrier gases also here these atoms and molecules are going to flow down chemical reactions are going to take place and epitaxial growth or atomistic arrangement of these particles will lead us to thin film formation over the substrate which is the principle or operation of CVD technique itself and many of the metallic thin films like that of aluminium, cadmium, nickel, chromium, platinum, rhodium, titanium etc can be obtained by using corresponding organic precursors with respect to the application purposes. So this is about MOCVD technique of depositing thin film of mainly high qualities. This is about today's class and in our next class we will be having a short discussion on pros and cons of chemical vapor deposition technique. Till then study well, stay tuned and thank you for watching and hopefully understanding the concept.